Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Jerry Grody, a stalwart of American baseball and a key figure in the New York Mets' Miracle Mets 1969 World Series victory, passed away at the age of 81 on April 7th due to respiratory failure. Born on October 6, 1942 in San Antonio, Texas, Grody's journey from surviving a devastating tornado as a child to becoming one of Major League Baseball's most respected catchers is a testament to his resilience and tenacity. A two-time All-Star, Grody was renowned for his defensive prowess, guiding the Mets pitching staff to new heights and leaving an indelible mark on the game. Grody's career spanned 16 years, during which he played for the Houston Colt Point 45S, New York Mets, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Kansas City Royals. However, it was with the Mets that he truly made his mark, contributing significantly to their 1969 World Series win and establishing himself as a defensive luminary behind the plate. His leadership and skill set a standard for future generations, earning him a place in the Mets Hall of Fame in 1992. Beyond the diamond, Grody's post-retirement years were dedicated to mentoring young players and sharing his love for the game through broadcasting. His legacy extends beyond his statistical achievements, encompassing the impact he had on teammates, fans, and the communities he touched. As we remember Jerry Grote, we celebrate a life well-lived, marked by passion, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence. Cindy Morgan, who graced the screen with her unforgettable performances in Tron and Caddyshack, passed away at the age of 69 of natural causes at her home in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Born Cynthia Ann Sikorsky on September 29, 1954, in Chicago, Illinois, Morgan's diverse heritage and education at Northern Illinois University laid the groundwork for a career that would see her become an icon of both comedy and science fiction. Her role as Lacey Underall in Caddyshack showcased her comedic talents, while her dual roles as Laura and Yori in Tron solidified her place in cinematic history as part of the first computer-generated film. Beyond the camera, Morgan was known for her voice acting, notably voicing Ma 3A in the PC game Tron 2.0, and for her passionate support of the United States military. Her efforts to alleviate the financial hardships of military families, especially through her directorship of the Caddyshack Reunion Golf Tournament, underscored her deep commitment to giving back to those who served. Morgan's disappearance from the public eye following her role in Tron and her absence from Tron Legacy did little to diminish her impact on fans and the industry. Her work, especially in bringing to life some of the most memorable characters of the 1980s, remains a testament to her talent and versatility. As news of her passing spreads, it is with a collective sense of loss that we say farewell to Cindy Morgan, a remarkable actress whose legacy will continue to inspire and entertain. C.J. Snare, the iconic voice and creative force behind the hard rock glam metal band Firehouse, passed away at the age of 64 on April 5th after a courageous battle with stage 4 colon cancer. Born Carl Jeffrey Snare on December 14, 1959, in Washington, D.C., he embarked on a musical journey that would lead him to become a beloved figure in the rock music scene. As the frontman and a founding member of Firehouse, Snare's powerful vocals and songwriting prowess propelled the band to the forefront of the genre, with seven of their songs charting on the Billboard Hot 100, including five top 40 hits. Beyond Firehouse, Snare's musical talents shone through in his work with Rubicon Cross and Scrap Metal, showcasing his versatility and enduring passion for music. Despite his diagnosis and the challenges he faced, 
Snare's commitment to his craft remained unwavering, planning to return to the stage in summer 2024 before his untimely passing. Snare's legacy is not only defined by his contributions to rock music, but also by the love and inspiration he provided to his family, including his two sons and daughter, and to the countless fans and fellow musicians he touched throughout his career. His voice, echoing through Firehouse's enduring hits, will forever remain a testament to his talent and the indelible mark he left on the world of music. As we mourn the loss of C.J. Snare, we celebrate his life and the joy his music brought to so many. Cole brings plenty, a promising actor known for his roles in 1923 and other television westerns, was tragically found dead in Kansas at the age of 27, days after being reported missing. His disappearance, amidst a domestic violence investigation, ended in sorrow when authorities discovered his body in a wooded area on April 5, 2024. The Johnson County Sheriff's Office's discovery followed an intensive search, marking a somber conclusion to a period filled with concern and hope for his safe return. Cole, a talent on the rise, had contributed to the storytelling of the American West through his work on 1923, a prequel to the acclaimed Yellowstone series. His portrayal in this series, alongside appearances in Into the Wild Frontier and The Tall Tales of Jim Bridger, showcased his dedication and passion for acting, his ability to bring characters to life won him admiration from audiences and colleagues alike. His disappearance was a cause of concern among his family, friends, and fans, leading to widespread efforts to locate him. The news of his untimely death has deeply affected those who knew him, particularly his father, Joe Brings Plenty Sr., who expressed gratitude for the support and remembrances of Cole's kind spirit and the love he inspired. Cole's contributions to television and his potential for future roles will remain a poignant reminder of a talent taken too soon. As the entertainment community mourns his loss, reflections on his life and work will continue to honor his memory. Cole brings Plenty's legacy, marked by his brief but impactful career and the warmth remembered by those who knew him, will endure in the hearts of many. Barbara Rush an American actress renowned for her distinguished career in film, television, and stage, passed away at the age of 97. With a career that spanned over several decades, Rush left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her journey began in Denver, 1927, and through her talent and perseverance, she quickly rose to prominence, earning a Golden Globe as the most promising female newcomer for her role in it came from outer space. Rush's versatility as an actress was evident in her performances across a variety of genres, from science fiction to drama, including memorable roles in The Young Philadelphians and Ombre. Beyond her cinematic achievements, Rush was also a significant presence on television, contributing to the legacy of shows such as Peyton Place and All My Children. Her portrayal of complex characters demonstrated not only her acting prowess, but also her ability to connect with audiences on a profound level. Her contributions to the arts were not confined to the screen. Rush was equally passionate about the stage, bringing to life a multitude of characters in productions that ranged from 40 carats to her one-woman show, A Woman of Independent Means. Her commitment to her craft, earned her the Sarah Siddons Award for Dramatic Achievement, further cementing her status as an icon of the stage and screen. Barbara Rush's legacy is characterized by her dedication to the performing arts, her exceptional talent, and her ability to inspire those around her. She is survived by her family, including her children, Christopher Hunter and Claudia Cowan, and her memory will continue to influence and captivate future generations of performers and audiences alike. Vontae Davis, a former NFL cornerback renowned for his time with the Miami Dolphins, Indianapolis Colts, and Buffalo Bills, tragically passed away at the age of 35 on April 1st. Found dead in his Florida home by his grandmother, his sudden departure has left many in shock, though authorities have indicated no suspicion of foul play.
Davis, celebrated for his athleticism and competitive spirit, made an indelible mark on the NFL, earning two Pro Bowl selections during his career. Beyond his on-field achievements, Davis made headlines in 2018 with his mid-game retirement, a moment that highlighted his commitment to personal integrity and well-being over professional expectations. This unexpected decision underscored the importance of mental health and the pressures faced by athletes, further cementing his legacy as a player unafraid to prioritize his life beyond the game. His commitment to wellness continued post-retirement, with his involvement in a holistic wellness spa aimed at helping others achieve their health goals. Vontae's sudden loss is felt deeply across the sports community and by those who admired him for his courage both on and off the field. His legacy will be remembered as one of immense talent, heartfelt passion, and the courage to follow one's convictions. Bruce Kessler, who seamlessly transitioned from a thrilling racing career to an impactful stint in film and television direction, passed away at the age of 88 on April 4th. Born in Seattle and raised in Beverly Hills, Kessler's life was a rich tapestry of adventure, creativity, and resilience. From racing his mother's Jaguar XK120 as a teenager to becoming a notable figure in the Sports Car Club of America races, his early years were marked by speed and ambition. Kessler's racing achievements, including teaming up with Chuck Day for the Scarab race cars and entering the World Championship Formula One Grand Prix in 1958, are testaments to his skill and passion for the sport. Notably, he was one of the last people to speak with James Dean before the latter's tragic death in 1955, a poignant reminder of the era's vibrant yet perilous racing scene. After a serious accident in 1959 led to his retirement from racing, Kessler didn't slow down. Instead, he shifted gears, channeling his determination into film and television direction. His contributions to iconic series like The Monkees, Mission Impossible, and The Rockford Files, among others, showcased his versatility and creative vision. Kessler's work, from directing The Sound of Speed about the Scarab race car to his contributions to cinema and television, reflect a life lived with intensity and purpose. Beyond his professional achievements, Kessler's personal life, including his marriage to Joan Freeman and his familial connections, painted the picture of a man deeply rooted in relationships and community. His legacy as a world-class skeet and trap shooter further underscores the multifaceted nature of his talents and interests.